Ingrid. So, uh, so what we're talking about now is um, what's going on in the um, jobs market. And currently there are economic question marks over the real strength of the Aussie economy. Economists such as Macquarie's Brian Redican and NAB's Alan Oster maintain that we need more interest rate cuts, while HSBC's Paul Boxen thinks the next move for rates will be up, and it could be this year. However, an unusual indicator, the demand for auditors and insolvency accountants, suggests that the economy just might be struggling. To explain this, we're joined by Paul Barbaro, the Executive General Manager of Lloyd Morgan. How are you, buddy? Very well. Good to see you. Now, you guys have a Clarius Skills Index, and that's where you identified a big demand for auditors and insolvency experts. Is it, is it quite a big jump in demand for these um, sorts of people? Interestingly, the Claria Skills Index is the only index that measures supply and demand. Right. And we've been doing it for over five years. Lloyd Morgan specialises in the accountancy okay. um, aspect of it. Yep. And what we have seen is a steady increase in those types of functions over the last two years, which mm. is indicative of companies that obviously are, are struggling under mm. the weight of um, economic uncertainty that continues to persist in most markets across Australia. So it has been a reliable indicator of what's actually going on in companies? Uh, we think it's the most reliable and it's used mm. by a lot of federal government departments that, that, that such as its validity. Um, an earlier speaker, um, Ed, mentioned that the, um, you know, the private sector typically is a good indicator Correct. of economic viability yeah. and we yeah. couldn't support it more. Yeah. I mean, we're at the forefront of um, consumer confidence. When there's um, international news that impacts that consumer confidence, we typically see consumer hiring patterns diminish. Yeah. When we see improvement in what the media reports, we typically see hiring patterns increasing. But there's been a steady increase in the demand for these two skill sets, mm. insolvency and auditors, which gives us an indicator that the markets are deflated, yep. companies are nervous, uh, publicly listed companies are demanding for more um, scrutiny over their books mm. to see the financial well-being of their firm. So we're seeing an increase um, and we think that it's one of the most um, valid indicators of market strength. Well, when I was overseas in Vietnam a couple of weeks ago, I was staggered to hear that we created 70,000 jobs in February. Now, I'm sure you heard that figure as well. Did that quite surprise you, that number? Uh, look, it depends on what sort of roles have been in... Um, a lot of part-time That's jobs. right. I mean, it depends on the measure of that. So, yeah. you know, you typically get that those sort of figures um, touted around and people believe that the market's um, rebounding and improving. It depends on what type of roles have, yeah. been, um, have been listed. The vast majority are part-time work um, or, or irregular type of hours, which mm. typically don't attract a type of, um, you know, a skilled workforce. So mm. I was surprised to hear it, mm. but it's not inconsistent with markets that... The change. ABS, uh, uh, Paul, has actually said they have changed the cohorts in the way they surveyed it, and they were a bit... They were basically saying there's a bit of rubberiness in these figures. So it's going to be interesting, but from where you stand, and, you know, as in a recruitment group, the, the employment market is feeling a bit soft, is it? It is soft, yeah. uh, there's, and, and I think anybody that says anything different is, um, is, is not really living in the Australian market. It is soft. It's a mm. challenge. Mm. There's a lot of uncertainty in groups across all different sectors. Um, even Western Australia, which has typically been our blue ribbon state, yep. has experienced some softening in demand over the last six months, which is having adverse effects to the national numbers. But um, there's no question that all industry bodies or industry groups that we recruit for, mm. and Clarius recruits across a very broad range of industries, all of them are reporting, mm. um, softened market conditions. Does, does your index actually ask why employers are becoming reticent to employ? Do you have a, a feeling for the, the main reasons? We overlay the index, which is typically looking at data that's yeah. historical by nature, and yep. we overlay that with um, you know, the coalface comment. I mean, all of our staff are engaged with client groups across the country, so we do ask those questions, yep. and we get very contemporary views about what employers are doing. Mm. And all of them are saying, tread with caution, there's still caution over Europe, a lot of caution over Europe, mm. and I know Ed spoke a, a lot about that in his previous commentary. Mm. China has shown some signs of vulnerability. Mm. The United States rebounding hasn't been as buoyant as what most would, would have liked. Mm. All of those factors, um, coupled with naturally what's happening here in Australia from an economic perspective, has made for a very challenging and somewhat uh, uncertain climate from an employment perspective. Mm. So you, what you're suggesting is that there are Lots of question marks out there. There's no overwhelming commitment to, to, to the doomsday uh, outcome, 
but there's a lot of hesitancy in, in the, the recruitment market. There's a lot of hesitancy in the recruitment market, but the single piece of advice we give to all of our clients is retention of your top talent is your number one priority because when markets do rebound and we're getting some news that potentially it will happen, yep. we don't know when, mm. um, when top talent becomes vulnerable, so too will the growth of organisations struggle thereafter. So keeping good people is the key. Paul, that. but this has been the kind of advice that you know, new age recruitment companies have been into for probably the last five years. Mm. You know, ten years ago, when I talked to people like you, it wasn't as big an issue. But retention is critically important. Does that partly explain maybe why our unemployment number hasn't gone up to six percent and above? Because a lot of employers are even offering the option of part-time work if the full, if the amount of work's not there for full-time. That's exactly what they're doing, and we've seen organisations allowing staff to exhaust leave, mm. um, to reduce hours, to have flexible work arrangements to offset. Um, changes in consumer demand. That's exactly why we're seeing different mm. work habits creep into the marketplace because employers know that when markets do rebound, mm. quality people will still be at a premium, yeah. they'll be difficult to find, and the cost associated with it outweighs the benefits. So mm. keeping them now will be a substantial one, benefit. One of the, the conflicts I've found over the last year or so is that the ANZ job ad figures have been basically saying this market's really softening, but the actual employment numbers remain lo looking okay considering so do you think the ANZ job ads are actually a better indicator of what's actually going on in the market because it, it reflects actual advertising for work oh typically but there's there's there, there's no simple answer to that one question to be honest it is one indicator it is a good indicator mm. um, but changing employment type of arrangements often distorts those figures so it's a difficult question to answer with a single commentary albeit that we're seeing significant changes to the mm. way in which individuals are engaged yeah. and that potentially does distort the employment. One last question. Are you seeing differences between big, small and medium businesses in terms of their attitude of hiring or is it pretty consistent across the three groups? Uh, very consistent. Big, stop, medium, hesitant, small, absolutely no one at this mm. point. But yeah. if you overlay that with one point of commentary, it's a simple case of everyone's nervous. OK, so if anyone wants to check out the actual index, what's the, the website they go to? www.clarius.com.au and all the information's there. Thanks, Paul. Thank you. Nice to meet you.